So welcome to this video about navigating around SAP ERP6. We're going to be interacting with the Global Bike Incorporated case study and the data for it. Uh, so just to give you an idea of what you'll be doing and how you should go about doing it with the software, this video looks at navigation. So this is where it fits into the syllabus. So we're going to look at user guidance, uh, some user specific settings that you need to set to uh, make interacting with the system easier uh, and how to navigate in the SAP easy access menu, which is what you'll be presented with once you've logged in. Uh, and then we'll talk a little bit about help and where you get it apart from from your lab tutor. So at the end of the chapter, you'll be able to name some of the window elements. You'll be able to navigate in a SAP ERP system, uh, apply some personal system settings and more effectively use the help. So the screen on the right here, the um, login screen, there's a login screen. Uh, there will be a little bit you have to do before you get to this this point. Generally, how we pr provided that to you is with a window, not unlike what you see on the left, where down the left hand side here you see various uh, systems, and you would pick a system. Um, and the the details of the system, the client, your username, your password, or the language, will all be on a sticker given to you um, with that information. Uh, but the password box will be blank, so we'll be asking you to uh, change your password from the initial setting to a new one and to write that down both on your sticker, uh, which you can keep in your lab workbook, but also um, we'd like you to write it down on the initial register so that we have a record of it because it's quite often possible for people to forget their username and password and it just makes it easier if we can just tell you what it is instead of going into the system and resetting it. So when you have selected the system and we have two systems that we use, one is a business warehouse for a business intelligence gathering and one is the one you'll be using for this which is uh, SAP ERP um, so you just select the one from a line in that kind of area on the left and then you click log on uh, in the top left hand corner and you will get a screen like the one on the right so you fill in your client um, which in our case will be 716 but depending on which system you might be using um, and then you put in your username and password and the language is English or EN, capital EN. So once you've done that, um, you'll be presented with the SAP Easy Access menu for Global Bike Incorporated. So this is the ERP system for this bicycle manufacturing company. And on the left, you can see you have the SAP menu with a favorites area above it. Uh, which is blank at the moment, and um, you can uh, we'll, we'll be interacting mostly with the areas of logistics, accounting, and human resources. Those are the three process areas we were talking about in the introduction to SAP ERP. Notice above the word SAP Easy Access, there is a window. Uh, with a left facing arrow to the right of it. That's the transaction code window and if you type a transaction code in there it will mean you don't have to go through the expandable easy access menu below, it will take you straight to that transaction. You'll have a window there as long as you have clicked that little uh, arrow um, which will be fa right facing if it's not been opened. Uh, if you click it when it's left facing it will close that window up but generally you just always want to leave it open. So here's the SAP Easy Access menu expanded. 
and uh, we're doing a display current material transaction which you can see highlighted in yellow in the logistics area and within logistics you've got materials management sales and distribution production planning um, uh, quality management customer service we tend to be looking at materials the materials management sales and distribution uh, and production in our dealings so here's a typical screen when you have chosen a transaction this is to display a standard order um, and it, it's the overview screen and it's divided into three parts and it's worth worth remembering this because a lot of in a lot of cases this will be the case so at the top we have the header area and that's kind of uh, where system-wide things are happening so here you've got the um, people who are actually ordering from us they're wanting some bikes um, then there is the position overview so here we're going to we might be setting a number of tabs with data and you see there are tabs all the way across uh, none of those have been selected in this case you'd see a little um, concentric circle on the left hand side of the tab if they had been selected as being part of the thing we wanted to actually enter data into and down at the bottom we have the position details that's where we do the transactions related to specific order such as here um, processing an order for five deluxe touring bikes so this is the kind of latest design of ERP 6 enhancement pack 7 um, there is a new version of SAP ERP for the corporate level coming out called SAP S4 HANA this runs on an in-memory database but it also has a tiled uh, Fiori interface uh, which differs from this interface quite considerably. It's unlikely that uh, the large corporates will go straight over to this system and at the moment there is only the finance and accounting module finished so uh, some way off before that will appear in um, companies that uh, students might go on placement to or um, might want to work in after. Uh, university there are some help functions uh, so if you press F1 you can get a description of all the input fields on a particular sheet uh, if you click F4 then you can search put in a search term and then that will give you um, depending on which tab you've selected you can you can scroll left and right in the, the using those arrows just under the customer account number on the right hand side there's a arrow there that uh, allows you to select different tabs and depending on which one you've done in your search term it will give you um, here we're searching for suppliers or, or customers sorry uh, of the of your company um, Global Bike Incorporated so F1 and F4 there is also a, an SAP help portal that's been recently upgraded quite a bit so if you want to go in and ask questions about SAP Business Suite, SAP ERP, Business One, um, Business Analytics, in-memory computing, all those kind of things. And there's also specific search terms that you can put in the search box to find out more about uh, things through the SAP Help Portal. Now, if you'll find that you'll be using some transactions more often than others, and you might want to create a favorite for them and one way of doing that is to select the transaction and then click add right click and add to favorites but another way of doing it would be to click on favorites and then insert the transaction and then you can type in the transaction number for example and that would allow you to save a particular transaction into your favorites so that instead of having to go through the easy access menu or remember the transaction you could just see it listed in that list at the top under favorites one of the things we'll be asking you to do is to go into settings so we go to extras in the top menu um, the command menu and under settings 
uh, we want you to click in the box against which is display technical names and this allows you to see transaction code the full description of everything you're doing and why we want to do that is that in the bottom right hand corner of the, the window you will see you can't see it in this illustration but you will see a box which tells you what transaction you're in and what system you're in depending on what you've selected there so it's a good check on where you are in the system uh, you can also uh, search uh, for um, what, what a, a transaction code is about if you type in uh, enter transaction code or menu text from one of the top menus uh, this allows you to see what um, how, how each of those relates to one another each transaction fits in with another Uh, you can also choose to have notifications in terms of success messages, warning messages, error messages coming up in a dialog box. Uh, so you can select all of these if you want. Um, you, if you're in a particular uh, field, such as the one in yellow there, uh, you can get a, an option to change notifications. Now the other thing is at the top left you see the enter um, which is the green tick that's the equivalent of enter below it there's something which looks like a clock and that's the execute button so if you press that and sometimes you'll need to do an execution uh, that starts the system off doing it you've got a save button for saving the results of your work in your transaction before logging off you want to do that if you've done some work or you'll lose it and then there are there is the um, green left facing arrow which goes back you can go up one level and you can end the transaction using the green yellow and red items there round items under help you may want to change your user profile uh, in actual fact we will create for you a user account and um, so really this this would more likely be be done by us um, using a transaction to, um, to do it you can create desktop shortcuts so by selecting a desktop shortcut you can see to a particular uh, transaction uh, in this case the transaction is bring up the session manager which is the easy access menu itself um, you can choose to do that uh, I'm not sure that in the labs it allows you to uh, to do too much of that but you you can certainly try it so you should be now familiar with the window elements uh, navigation uh, navigation around a SAP system uh, applying some personal system settings and uh, aware of where you can get help but of course in the labs you will have a personal lab tutor who will be there to ask questions of and will hopefully be helping everybody progress at a reasonable uh, pace so that's uh, SAP uh, ERP navigation thank you very much